and welcome back to Tiger Wolf Productions once again. And today is my final Transformers review until we get to the big fellas. <laughs> Referring obviously to Optimus Primal and Megatron. Um, but uh, yeah, um, as you can see, to, uh, for my next to final Transformers video, we are taking a look at this creepy little fella. This is Transformers Legacy Buzzsaw. And he's a repaint of Transformers Kingdom Waspinator. Um, yeah. Yeah, so th they basically... They did this in Beast Wars, too. They, they took Waspinator and repainted him into Buzzsaw. And his color scheme was... Was more or less this. Um, I can't really spot any differences in uh, between this guy and the original Buzzsaw. Um, I missed out on Waspinator, so... Saw this guy at Walmart. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'll snatch him up. He looks pretty creepy, pretty neat. Um, so he's a yellow jacket. Um, uh, as far as the Transformers uh, legacy line goes, uh, he is one of the three Walmart exclusives, and you can tell he's an exclusive because his packaging actually had a bubble as opposed to an open uh, window. Um, yeah, and he was an exclusive alongside two other Kingdom repaints, uh, the ones I've already had a look at, which were Night Prowler, who's fantastic, and Sandstorm, who is finicky, but he's also pretty nice. Um, yeah, so the, the, these three are kind of wave mates. Um, so, as stated, he is a yellow jacket. Um, and I gotta tell you, he is creepy. Um, <laughs> I, I do not like wasps. Uh, they're... Uh, you know the meme? Bees are... Excuse me. Real quick. Sorry, that's my cat. She doesn't like me... Handling other animals. Not even robot ones. Alright. <clears throat> um... Yeah, um, you know the meme where bees are beneficial to the environment, but wasps are just jerk holes? Yeah, yeah, I pretty much live by that meme. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as, as, a, as a wasp, he is very convincing to the point where he's actually kind of creepy, actually. I, I, I don't know, every time I look at this guy, I just... Yeah, <laughs> just, I do not like wasps, especially, especially up close, like, you, you know those videos on YouTube where, where they have giant wasps, and this guy looks very similar to one of those. I think that's the reason why um, he's got me so on edge. Um, um for Waspinator, a little read up on Waspinator real quick, because this guy's technically the same character. Um, Waspinator was kind of the whipping boy of Beast Wars, but you know, he was a fan favorite. I can see why Kingdom made a figure of him, despite the fact that he never appears in Kingdom at all, which I find kind of messed up. Um, 
you know, Rat Trap was in Kingdom, Dinobot was in Kingdom, you know, for a short while. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, we're not talking about Waspinator, we're talking about his brother here, Buzzsaw. And as I stated, um, Waspinator was repainted into Buzzsaw in the original Beast Wars line. Um, and he did look very similar to this. Uh, as a as a bug, uh, very convincing, even has the creepy compound eyes. He has posable antenna, so you can pose them in any which way you want. To make him look more docile, you can pose him like that. And to make him look more menacing, you can pose him like that. Uh, you can open his mandibles, which does not help at all in terms of his creep factor. Um, move his legs. Be careful if you move them too much, you could pop them off the mushroom joint here. That is a mushroom joint, right? That right there. Yeah. The wings are on ball joints, so they can do pretty much anything you want. I don't know if wasps do that, but you, know, you can, you can, okay, that just doesn't look, that looks creepy to me. It just looks like he's coming right at you like, Z -Z -Z -Z. yeah. I'm going to flip those back for my own safety. I know he's a figure, he can't hurt me, but look. he's got these creepy hands on the end of his legs. Uh, kind of similar to the ones this guy has, but yeah. but this guy creeps me out because he can fly and sting sting me. Not not this guy. I know he can sting me, but like like he can't fly. He doesn't have the advantage. I've heard some scorpions are, are the equivalent to getting stung by a bee, which, you know, it hurts, but it, I've heard it, it doesn't really have any effect on you, but, uh, yeah, wasps, I, wasps are just, yeah, screw them. Um, He's kind of this greenish yellow. It's not quite a pure yellow, although it does kind of look like it on the camera. Um, I think the pattern of his abdomen is a bit different from Waspinator. I think Waspinator actually has a painted stinger. He's talking of the stinger, this will come into play in robot mode. Um, there is a lot in the way of kibble, the legs and the groin area here and the shoulders. Um, obvious Predacon symbol there, but you're, turn, you're turning an alien robot into a bug. I, you're gonna get kibble problems. He stands great. Um, not too bad when it comes to standing. Yeah, that's his creepy yellow jacket mode. The character Buzzsaw, don't know too much about him. I think he's in the Beast Wars comics, but uh, yeah. Never read the Beast Wars comics, I would like to. Uh, I'd like to get into comics, actually. Uh, I don't actually read comics, despite my last review, which had to do with DC, um, but but I would like to get into comics. Um, yeah, that's that's the that's the bug mode. It's pretty realistic, pretty creepy. I like how the back legs actually look like bug legs, not like the robot legs trying to imitate bug legs, like like the original had. Yeah. 360 here of his all him and all of his creepy glory um yeah that's 
pretty much all there is to the wasp mode. It's a wasp. It's it flies. It's got a bad attitude. It's going to sting you. Unless, of course, you bring repellent. But, uh, yeah. I guess now we can dispense with the small talk and get him into robot mode. Um, what you want to do is... Yeah, I think you want to take the... You want to unclip the legs here. There's a couple of tabs right, right there, right here where I'm pointing, and they grip onto these right here. So when you're going back to bug mode, that it'll be what you do with those. These are tabbed in here. I'm gonna untab those. Um, then you want to unclip his groin area from the abdomen here, which is kind of hard to do, actually. Let me just uh, go ahead and get... That's going to be a gun. A rather dinky gun, but it's going to be a gun. Um, okay. He's not cooperating with me. Or, yes, yes, chuckle all you want. I did it. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. Don't wanna, don't quite wanna clip it in yet. Uh, you wanna get the feet all situated. The wasp legs, I don't know. Uh, I guess you can do whatever you want with those. Um, just to make sure they're not in the way, but, yeah. Now he's looking like Brundlefly. Um, his arms are in here. Uh, there are these pegs right here and they peg in here on, on both sides so when you're going back to bug mode just keep that in mind wanna position the arms like so You can see a, a humanoid shape kind of forming here. Um, yeah, you want to... Okay, this is kind of... Okay, there's a tab right here. And uh, there's a groove in there. You just kind of want to tab that in the best you can and then we're not done yet um, want to unpeg the bug head there's his head there which is a little interesting because just like just like these guys here it is a new head and I will talk about it soon enough um, or, no, no, not him. He doesn't have a new head. He does. Uh, and then, after you've done that, slots, pegs. I want to make sure those get pegged in. I'm gonna situate the antenna. I like to put them down so they're not in his face all the time. And then a bit interestingly, Waspinator always, always liked that Waspinator did this. He had the bug face spit, split down the middle. You just wanna kinda push it in best you can. 
there's new detail in there. And there is Buzzsaw in his very nice robot mode. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. I have to admit. Whoops! Sorry about that. Get a grip on the camera. Let's have a look at this. The only thing I would say is these bug legs. They they can be a bit cumbersome to deal with. Like they're just hanging off his limbs and like. I mean, they're part of his design. Here's his gun. Bit of a dinky gun, but it's formed from the stinger, so. Let's get that into his hand. And he's got a little pea shooter. <laughs> it's a pea shooter. You can't convince me otherwise. There is Buzzsaw in his robot mode, and actually... Let's take a look at his head real quick. He has Waspinator's robot head, not his mutant head, his robot head. Because let me explain. Uh, on the Beast Wars show, uh, they actually used Waspinator's mutant head for his default robot head. Because um, it was kind of interesting looking. It was kind of insectoid buggy looking it looked much like his beast mode um, yeah so that became waspinator's primary head in the show um, this this head was never in the show they didn't end up using it i can see why it is a bit of a generic looking head um but I don't know, I kind of like it. kind of reminds me of a... I don't know why, but it makes me think of an evil version of Optimus Primal. I, I'm not sure why. I like these... Um, these kind of fins here. He has on the... Or I guess they're not fins. I, I guess they're supposed to look like bug wings. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he's got a bit more of a generic Transformer head. Um... I do like that these repaints don't just recycle, don't just reuse uh, the original heads of the original figures. Um, you know, Waspinator very much had his uh, his uh, buggy insectoid head. Getting these guys transformed here for a quick comparison. Um, but yeah, yeah, <coughs> sorry, have to do that every time, sorry, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Waspinator wasn't the only one who used his, his mutant head instead of his robot head, um, on the show. Uh, th there was also Tarantulas. I, I believe he did that too. And I think that was it. The, the mutant heads didn't last long. They were only in like the first wave of Beast Wars. And then second wave came along and they dropped the idea. Which... I'm indifferent to the mutant heads, as I said to the in the Beast Wars... Cheetor review. I don't hate the idea. I don't like the idea. I, I look at it as kind of a kind of a battle mask for the character. There he is with Night Prowler. But yeah. And then this guy, oh god. I don't like transforming this guy. Um just try and bear with me as I as I get this guy into robot mode without popping his waist off or his head off. Um, but yeah, 
just just focus on him and he'll tell you this video is sponsored by raid shadow legends um it's not actually sponsored by raid shadow legends but it, <laughs> it's sponsored by fortnite no it's not I, no no I, I don't even like fortnite i don't know why i said that wasn't so bad. I guess the more I transform this guy, the more I get into him, the more I get used to transforming him. I still prefer the original Scorpion Octo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tail, then the back legs. Okay. Well, that went quicker than expected. You can get used to him. I don't know. One more funny thing about Sandstorm. I'm sorry if he's kind of stealing the show here. Uh, this, I believe it was this claw, but it was like really loose and unhooked from the hinge when I first got him. I thought that was dumb. Well, there he is with Sandstorm. They're both Predacons, so... And... There is Sandstorm's little bee friend. If you want, you can... If you want, you can kind of pretend this is him, and he's kind of Sandstorm is firing a uh, buzzsaw out of his claw for some reason. I don't know. They're Predacons. They, you know how the Predacons were in Beast Wars. That a lot of them were very treacherous. Well, not Scorpionok, obviously. Scorpionok was kind of a kiss boot, but uh, yeah, there they all are together. I have to say they they look pretty good together. I definitely get I definitely get a classic Beast Wars feel about him. Uh, but anyway, he, uh, getting onto the main attraction here is Buzzsaw, um, ball joint head, and again I do like that head. It, even if it is a bit generic looking. There's light piping. Um, I think I have a... Sorry to do this, but... Uh, uh, here we go. I have this. Yeah, I know it, it looks like Chippendale, but like there's a light piping in action. Um, shoulders out. It's on a hinge, not a ball joint. Rotate. Biceps swivel, bend, swivel, wrist swivel. Yeah. All right. Wings do the same thing that they did in beast mode. Uh, ball joint hips, although they don't go back too much. They go out just fine. Oh, no, it's not a ball joint. Look. Yeah, but hinge, hips, forward. Uh, knees bend back and forward. Uh, I know, but he's a robot. He's okay. Um, feet hinge pivot okay. so and he's got nice shaped feet too so when posing this guy 
in a dynamic pose. He will stand just fine. Check that out. I really like that, actually. I'm not sure if I like that gun. It's kind of small, but... Um, but yeah, that's... That's V-Sport... Uh, that's Legacy Buzzsaw. Um, pretty nice figure. Um, I would say, if you can find him, snatch him up. This is Tiger Wolf Productions, and I'll see you next time.